Good morning, Assalamu Alaikum, and welcome to the MENA Information Security Conference, our eighth edition this year. We're so excited to have everybody here, and we're so excited about our next two days of global speakers with insightful thought leadership coming to you from the specialized and best technical and business executives in the industry. This year's title of the theme of our conference is moving from cyber resistance to resilience in the age of smart cities, digital economies, and internet of things. The rise of COVID-19 themed attacks have increased by 30,000% around the world. And according to our sponsor, Trend Micro, in Q1 of this year, we've seen a dramatic increase in attacks across the Gulf region. In fact, over 1,700 email attacks, 1,100 malware attacks, and 216 URL attacks. And if we drill down specifically to Saudi Arabia, there's been over 344 attacks. Of those attacks, 216 were email attacks, 59 were malware attacks, and 17 were URL attacks. Not only has the increased attacks disrupted the way businesses do and provide services to their customers, but it's also changed the way we work and how we work and from where we work. We're used to working from offices where there's enterprise security information, personnel, equipment, and technologies to support our office work. We were required to work from home, and this will continue to be the process where we have a hybrid of working from home and working from the office. The biggest challenge of that is at our home, unlike the office where there's enterprise cybersecurity solutions, at home we're behind typically a home router with very or no security at all. The world was already facing many challenges with the mobile revolution and the cloud revolution and all the data being dispersed. Now the forcible remote work from home causing telework to be part of the solution that we are mandatory to use has caused the perimeter to fall. And when I say the perimeter, I mean the cybersecurity perimeter, which no longer exists. Data is ubiquitous, it's everywhere, which makes it incredibly challenging for people like yourselves, cybersecurity professionals, to secure. So important things have become data classification, data identification of sensitive data, as well as data exposure have become key functions of cybersecurity personnel. Along with routine functions that we normally do like data backups, disaster recovery, continuity of co operations have become critical infrastructures intertwined with cybersecurity solutions. Additionally, to compound the challenge of COVID-19 themed attacks, we have a shortage of talent and people to actually manage the problem. There's over 3.5 million job vacancies across the globe today for cybersecurity professionals and big business executives who understand cybersecurity. This has left a huge gap in our capabilities to meet the challenge today. So it's more imperative for training, security awareness, and policy enforcement to be able to make sure that we are, can meet today's challenges along with tomorrow's. Technology alone is not the solution. It's the people, the process, and technology combined together to be able to provide a key area where you can improve on. People are the key asset in any enterprise, and their training and their skills enhancement is going to be a focus area moving forward for all enterprises to improve on. The people, the technology, and the process together will give you the ability to meet today's challenges as well as tomorrow's. Cybersecurity consists of technologies, processes, and measures to be able to advert cybersecurity attacks or mitigate the risk of data exfiltration or personnel data being taken over. So a key function of information security is securing the data and protecting the network, the servers, and the services behind that data. Now, cyber resilience really is more about business continuity, being able to recover without disruption to those services 
and be able to continuously provide services to all your customers during an attack and be able to advert complete a loss of services. So really cyber resilience is the combination and the marriage of information security along with business continuity to provide one cohesive solution to be able to meet today's and tomorrow's challenges. As we drill further into cyber resilience, we have to look further at some of the key functions of the business and how to run an effective business without interruption to services. The way we do that is we really have to look at a business impact analysis and identify key functions of the business that are key to running an effective and managing solution for our customers. What that means is things like recovery point objectives, recovery time objectives, risk assessments, preparedness, preventative measures, deceptive technologies, all have to start to be combined with our day-to-day -day operations, best practices of our information security systems. Again, it's a marriage and a cohesive solution where you bring the two together to provide a robust, agile business methodology to be able to advert and continuously run your business during an attack. So these topics and much more are going to be covered in the next two days by our thought leaders and our professional speakers. I hope you'll be able to benefit and enjoy a tremendous amount of knowledge transfer. And like I said earlier, don't worry about missing any of the sessions. This will be all recorded and available to you on demand after the conference. Thank you and enjoy the show. And I would like to do a special thank you to all our sponsors who have provided a lot of time and resources to be able to bring you the successful event today. Our sponsors are the key to our success, have invested a lot of time and money to hopefully bring you the best thought leadership and the best experience you'll have these next two days.